Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been working with my Raspberry Pi Pico using Sony in Raspberry Pi Desktop on a Raspberry Pi for the last couple of weeks. This means I'm finally learning Python. Meanwhile, I'm secretly yearning for the Pico to be in the familiar realm of the Arduino IDE. So, let's configure the Arduino IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico and load the Blink example sketch. Keep watching to the end of the video to see if this Pico will still work when I plug it back into my Raspberry Pi desktop and try to run Python programs. When you read some of these articles that you get from searching for how to get the Pico into Arduino IDE, it seems to be more complex than it needs to be. Custom board manager URLs, installing packages for Windows 10 on your machine, but when I go to Board Manager and search for Pico, I see this Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards package from Arduino. It seems like a no-brainer. I didn't have to add any custom URLs to preferences. It seems like this article here just came out in the last couple weeks announcing this support from Arduino. The install does take some time, so I suspect there is a lot being installed in the background, similar to the description of manually installing the Windows package from Tom's Hardware Guide. But you only have to click on the button once in the Arduino IDE. There is this prompt to install this CH340 driver towards the end of the board manager install. Make sure to click OK here. Now we have the board in board manager. We can select the Raspberry Pi Pico in Board Manager under Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards. Here it gets a little tricky. You need to plug the Pico into USB on your PC to see which serial port to connect to. Select that serial port in the Arduino IDE. Notice I haven't installed any libraries. We're going to upload the Blink example sketch under examples01.basics. But if you try to upload the Blink example sketch now, you get the dreaded error connecting message. So once you select the correct serial port for the Pico, you need to unplug the Pico from the USB. Now hold down the boot select button on the Pico and plug the USB cable back in. A Windows Explorer window opens showing you the contents of the Pico, as if it is a USB drive. You can explore that index.htm file for a lot more Pico resources. Now let's upload Blink. It succeeds this time. There you have it. Simple access to the Pico in Arduino IDE with a lot of existing sample sketches to try out. Make sure to read through the issues on the Arduino, Arduino Core Embed Repository on GitHub. You can post questions or suggestions if you don't see your topic is already covered there. Now, as a test, I have plugged this back into my Raspberry Pi desktop, reflashed the Python loader in Sony, and all my previous Python programs are still there. Here, I load Blink in Sony. Stay tuned for my video about getting started with Pico, Python, and Raspberry Pi OS desktop. Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.